Hey, Paul, I saw uh, maybe it was Elias said you were the first person in NBA history to have 15.7 boards and three assists in 15 minutes or less of play in, in the playoffs. Did you hear that stat? And I, and I guess how surprising is it at this point in your career when you're doing something that, that nobody's ever done? And how, how cool is it? And I guess, how do you duplicate it? Yeah, I definitely was not aware of that. Um, duplicate, man, I'm, I'm just going out there trying to win. You know, whatever stats come along with that, comes along with it. I've never been a guy that goes out there to, to you know, hunt stats. But, you know, within the Florida game, you know, uh, just try to win and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hey, Paul, I'm, I'm wondering, you, you've been a starter your whole career. Now you're coming off the bench here in the playoffs. I wonder, what, what is it like? Can you describe what it's like for you, the kind of the difference in your approach when you start and when you come off the bench? Um, typically, when I come off the bench, I know around about how many minutes I'm going to play. And, you know, you just make the best out of that. You know, it's... Um, Whenever your name is called, you know, I've always been ready when my name is called. And uh, when it is called, you get out there and you, you go to work. Because um, at the end of the day, it's all about winning the game. And whatever you can do to win the game, you know, that's what you do. So that's always been my mentality. You know, that's not going to stop. Nick Kosmider, The Athletic. Hey, Paul, good to see you. Uh, I'm curious what your thoughts are on – you know, Marcus Howard, it's not very often that an undrafted rookie kind of gets a role in a playoff series, a playoff rotation like he has the first two games. Um, so I'm wondering if you could just tell me what you've thought of him uh, and also maybe some stuff that throughout the year that, that was behind the scenes that you kind of gave you the impression that he would be ready for this sort of moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. You know, we we, we talk amongst each other, you know, um, you know, me and Will, you know, we, we talked about this, you know, for the whole year, you know, just his approach and his attitude towards the game of basketball and being a professional. Um, he comes to work every single day. You know, um, I, I don't know too many rookies that are, that look forward to rookie duties. Um, <laughs> he, he was one of them, you know, he's ready to do his job, you know, no matter what it is. So um, I'm not surprised with the success that he's having and the minutes that he's been able to play because um, he's definitely a professional, you know, on and off the court. So Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey Paul, hope you are doing well. In game two, the key factor of your success was uh, the aggressiveness. What do you need to do on game three to limit the uh, players' aggressiveness on both ends? And what would you like to carry on from your game? I don't know if we can limit their aggressiveness, you know, but I think we're, our goal is to match it and um, exceed, you know, their, their aggression and, you know, just counteract what they do. Um, this is the playoffs and, um, it's a chess match, you know, it's a chess match and, um, whatever they do, you know, you, you, you would respond and you react to it and, um, and a better team wins, you know, with that. So, you know, I think we're going to come out and just continue to play our game, um, carry our physicality that we had in the last game into this game and, um, hopefully come out with a win. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Paul, you've got a group of guys in the rotation that are about to play their first road playoff game I guess what's your advice to them what do you tell them going into it um don't tell them anything let them get out there and they figure it out themselves um that's the best uh best way to learn is to get out there and feel it um of course we'll be there you know alongside them coach them alone but um these these guys are professionals man and, and they come in to work every single day so um I'm not worried about them getting out there and performing under this type of pressure. Um, although it may be, it's going to be, you know, a tough situation. You know, their crowd's going to be into it. We understand that. Um, but these guys are, are, are made for these, these situations and these opportunities. Kyle Fredrickson, Denver Post. Hey, Paul. Coach Malone was on earlier and mentioned how even though Jamal's not playing, he's still kind of being a coach to the young guards, especially through these playoffs. Even during the games, do you see Jamal talking with a lot of the young guys? And what sort of influence does he have like on the bench? Yeah, he's, I mean, that's, that's just Jamal. You know, he's, he's always a guy willing to help um, the next guy out. You know, even though he's not playing, he, he wants us to win still. You know, and you don't have a lot of guys like that. You don't have a lot of guys who are injured and out the year and still want the team to succeed. And um, he, he's one of those guys who, who want us to win so bad. And he's willing to do anything, you know, within his power to help that happen. And um, therefore, that's why you see him on the sideline and he's coaching guys. And 
you know, he's, he, he talks to me and coaches me out there too, what he sees. So it's always good to see that. Um, and it's always good to see him out on the court. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. I just wanted to piggyback on the road question. What is it? What, what, what Describe playoff games on the road. Just how much more hostile is it um, maybe than a regular season game? Yeah, I mean, if my memory serves me correctly, um, since it's been a while, you know, last year, we <laughs> yeah. you know, year before that, you know, it's a hostile environment, you know, uh, got the fans in your ear, um, you know what they're going to bring, you know, the intensity they're going to bring. Um, you know, the, 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 the home team is, you know, they're, they're pumped up and they're jacked, you know, it's the, it's a road game. It's a home game for them, road game for us. And, um, we just got to bring that same energy, that same intensity, which is the tough part, you know, going on the road when you got to match that energy and that intensity, but, um, it's going to take a collective effort from everybody to, to do that. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Paul, uh, you famously had a little moment in the uh, bubble with uh, Marcus Morris that was kind of a serious defining uh, <clears throat> moment where you said uh, you guys were not going to get intimidated and that kind of changed the tone of the series. But the last game got pretty contentious, too. Uh, how would you just compare the level of intensity in this series to that last one? Um, I try not to remember those those traumatic situations you know but uh, you know it's, it's, it's all basketball man it's fun and um it gets a little chippy you got two teams out there battling for a win you know and any means necessary you try to get it um and there's going to be guys out there shoving you know, pushing and running their mouths and a whole host of other things but um the team that keeps their composure the most that stays disciplined stays centered um is normally the team that that wins the game so hopefully you know, we continue to keep our composure, keep stay centered, and um, and stay disciplined. James Hill, BNC Sports. Paul, I hope you and your family are safe and sound these days. Uh, when you look at this series right now, it's tied up, and we see it's uh, the best three out of five. Uh, when you look at this series, what do you see so far, and, and what do you envision? Um, first off, I envision. You know, winning, <laughs> winning, and getting out of the series, you know, as fast as possible. Um, but you know, the, the series, you know, that team causes a lot of issues on a basketball court, with, you know, especially their guard play, um, their rebounding. And I think that we've controlled and tried to maintain as much as we can so far. Um, you know, Dame and CJ is going to get theirs, um, but you know, making sure the other guys are are in check and. Um, doing our best to limit, you know, the touches and the offensive rebounds and then limiting our turnovers. I think that's that's big for us. All right, Paul, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Brent Cristal from KOA. Yeah, Paul, I guess piggybacking off what Nick asked earlier about Marcus Howard, you mentioned rookie duties in 2021 in a pandemic. What, what do rookie duties entail for Marcus Howard and the other rookies that come along? Yeah, you know, I, after this, we we're still in a pandemic. So, you know, for me, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to give any rookies any duties. It's, it's tough enough, you know, just making it along, get along, you know, in, in this situation, in this environment. But you know, like I said, you know, he's willing to do whatever it takes, you know, as a rookie, whether that's, you know, three o'clock in the morning, you know, bringing your bags to your room, um, stopping, getting you some coffee, whatever it is, you know, he's willing to do it. And, and to have that willing attitude um, and be so young, um, you can't help but be successful because he's going to take in the knowledge. He's going to take in the information he needs to be successful. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.